So we're going to look at how easy it is to install the roaming client. We're going to use the Mac um, and so then we're going to look, go into the dashboard and see that we can then use that new client as a identity and apply policy. So here we are on the Mac that we want to install the endpoint client, the roaming client on. So first of all, I'm going to uh, log into the umbrella dashboard. And I'm going to go and look at the download section of the deployment so that I can download the, uh, the Mac client. Now, obviously, you could do this elsewhere and then just forward the, uh, the file onto the the Mac or you could use it through your ordinary uh, software deployment but here I'm just going to do it all in one just so you can see it. So deployment and then roaming computers and you can see we've already got two, we've already got Ben's Mac and we've already got a desktop uh, but we're just going to download the roaming client for the Mac uh, and here was the dedicated link roaming client we're going to download the Mac OS client. So there's that Mac client. So we're going to just install the Mac client. And we should hopefully then install this organizational information, which will mean we won't have to do anything else to it. So we'll just then register with the umbrella cloud and then we can use that in our policies. So that's installation successful. So after a minute or two, we can see that that icon has now changed color. I can scroll down and I can click on there and I can see that it's now protected, encrypted, and we've pulled out the organizational information from that uh, download and install package. So let's come in and look at our roaming computers and our deployment. And we should see that new roaming computer that we've just added downstairs. And there we are, there's Ben's MacBook the desktop and the new one, the iMac, which is the one just installed and you can see that it's protected and encrypted. So this now gives us an identity so I can just come quickly come in and create a new policy purely to look at that iMac so we can go and test it and just show it you. So let's create a new policy. Add in the roaming client. and then just use the defaults to set these up. But what I want to do here is I want to use a custom. I want to use URL work. And the reason I want to use a custom uh, category list is I want to be able to block gambling um, so that we can prove that uh, and test without actually embarrassing anybody if it appears. Leave everything else as the default. And what we are going to do is we're going to set up a new block page and use that custom block page just so that we can see it's a different logo to the one we're normally used to seeing. So we should expect to see this block page. Save that so that we've got it seen and then we can oops, give it a new name. And now I can nip downstairs and go and test that policy and it should be applied to that identity. So we've installed the client and here you can see we've got the little green dot. So we can see we're protected and encrypted. We've just configured the policy. So let's go and test it. So let's try uh, sunbingo.com or co.uk and let's see if we get a block page. Here we can see we're hitting the we're being sent the OpenDNS block page 
but you can see we're getting our custom block page, which is the one with a little logo on rather than the Cisco one. So we can see that we're actually hitting that policy correctly. So let's come and have a look at the activity search and see if we can see that uh, traffic flowing through the iMac. We'll just search for the iMac. Here you can see the iMac is going out through the through the cloud. So we can see that we've actually got connectivity and we've been identifying. Let's go and look at some blocks, see if it's what's being blocked. And there we can see the uh, Sunbingo, sunbingo.com and that 888 poker blocking that iMac through the policy. So we're going to look at how easy it is to install the roaming client. We're going to use the Mac um, and so then we're going to look, go into the dashboard and see that we can then use that new client as a identity and apply policy. So let's have a look at the, the dashboard. So this is the roaming dashboard and if I come into my deployment and roaming computers, you should see that I've got three roaming computers, um, Ben's MacBook, the desktop and this new one, this iMac, iMac, which is the um, new one that we've just installed. And you can see that it's protected and encrypted. So if I then come in and create a policy, I'll be able to create a policy. And let's create a new policy purely for, the, for that iMac. So let's add a policy. And the policy is going to be purely for the, for the iMac. And what are we going to do? We're going to leave all these as a standard. So we're going to enforce, we're going to inspect, we're going to limit the content, we're going to control applications, and we're going to apply destination lists. And we're going to use the intelligent proxy to uh, proxy risky domains. So things like WordPress or, or RegEdit or whatever, so that those can be, can be looked at. Um, I'm not going to turn on SSL decryption because I've not got the certificates installed um, and we're going to log all requests so that it populates our, our, our reporting. I'm not going to turn on Enforce Safe Search because otherwise um, it can cause problems on, the, uh, on Google. So we're going to leave these, these are the default settings. So normally, of course, we would always block malware, command and control and phishing. Uh, but in this case, I don't really care about newly seen domains. I can wait the 24 hours so they're, they're existing domains. I'm not interested in dynamic DNS sites um, and potential harmful sites. And I definitely don't want crypto mining. There's already a, a Trojan knocking around on that, that Mac anyway. So I definitely don't want it getting out to a crypto mining site. So we can then come in and then we can create our standard policy lists, high, medium or low, or we can come in and use one of the default settings that we've already got set up or, or create a new, a new set of categories. So all I'm going to use is, I'm going to use a, So I'm going to use this custom work block. And the reason I use this one is because it's got gambling in and it's always useful if you're testing to use a gambling site because if uh, 888 poker appears on the screen, then it's a lot better than uh, perhaps any other sites that you may want to test with. So we'll go with that one. Applications, we'll come back to in a different video. We're gonna leave that as the default and that will give us our block page. So we'll just give this a name. So we we'll call this uh, Chaff iMac. Let's be nice to put a capital in. So there we are. There's our identity stopping that uh, gambling. So if I go downstairs now, I should be able to retest and show that block page appearing for that iMac. And then I'll be able to come back 
and look at the how that is uh, shows in the reporting. Okay, we'll tell us in a second. <laughs>